OK guys, it's sitting up the right way, and it's got two wheels in it. <coughs> um, stupid thing is, even though the tyres don't fit, look at this, the brake pads match these new rims. <laughs> but, uh, well, I say new rims, you know, the replacement rims, wheels, whatever you want to call the fucking things. <laughs> um, that's the one that's got to go back in the hook, so I need to uh, stick a tire on that and that tube. That one on. Or am I? No. I might actually be dismantling that wheel. Yes, sod it, I will. So, I've got a bunch of tires to go up in the cupboard. Um, it's a 1987 rim. That was in that Triumph ladies bike, so... And I thought the Triumph was quite new, because it had the uh, sticker on the front as a badge, and not an actual metal badge like they used to, d used to do years ago. Um, but yeah, I've already stripped down the old Triumph for parts. I've got the brake levers, the gear shifter. Probably won't sell for much on eBay, but... Um, I brought the gear cable up and a front brake cable up. Uh, I think I'll actually leave the gear cable as it is, but this tightly stretched brake cable there is getting on my wick and it's getting on my OCD's nerves, so that's going to be changed. But as far as I know, the gears work. It's gone straight in at first without slipping or grinding, so. I think I've got that set up all right. And I was right. The sprocket on this Triumph wheel was the exact same size as the um, original rim. So, all that's left to do is pump the tyres up, put some brake blocks in it, and go for a ride. And then I can clean it up. So, yeah. Pretty chuffed. Oh, and I've got to sort that front brake cable out, which is a piece of piss. Um, you know, front brake blocks don't line up with the wheel though, but uh, I need to find some brake blocks. We pop this down in the shed, but I'm not going to um, piss ass around with this anymore, I can't be bothered. That is enough for today. I am knackered after t after today. After, after, after. I'm a bit of a stir, stir, stir. Ah, oh, dear me. Yeah, that's all bolted in, correct. Don't think there's any rub on the mud guard. I won't know for sure until then I get the tyres pumped up, but it looks like there's plenty of clearance anyway. So, I'm not worried too much. Might change the angle of these handlebars. I'm not sure I like them tilted that far forward. I will sit on it first though, see what it feels like. I don't want to go um, adjusting them and uh, then don't like them, so I'll try them as they are first. Right. Uh, I need my wire cutters, but I'll do that tomorrow as well. Chop those hubs, at, hubs out of there and give them a good old polish up and clean up. Because believe it or not, there's about 20 quid in hubs sitting there as well. Well, the 82, probably not so much, and I can't remember what the original... Oh no, the original one out of the um, Moto B cane is the 82 hub. I'm not sure what it is on this one, I don't think anyone even looked. From the fact this hub, hub is actually still dirty, I don't even think Biggles has looked. Right, um, I'm doing me rag. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, clear a spot on this hub and date it. Mm. Mm. I'm not actually 100% certain this is going to clean up because it looks a bit rusty under some of this dirt. Um, might. The only way I'm going to find out is to actually cut it out and uh, 
start scrubbing it. Because there's some really ingrained dirt on this. I don't think I'm going to um, find a bloody date on it. No, I'm not. So, should we do it the hard way? I want to save these spokes because uh, they're not rusty. They could be stainless steel spokes. Ooh. That is a good question. So I was just going to go snip, 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 but um, I don't think I will go snip, snip, snip. A set of spokes for one of these wheels being kept as a spare might not be such a bad thing. So, <laughs> yeah, I've got a better front wheel spare. Actually, I've got two good front wheels spare now. But, uh, that certainly looks a bit better with those cleaner rims in and the bloody rusty heaps of shit that were in there. Oh yeah, while I was at my friends, I uh, picked up those wheels I had sitting there for a couple of months or so. <laughs> they actually came out of an electric bike. Well, the tires have got electric bike use only written on them, but to be honest, I don't really see what friggin' difference it makes. Um, I'm not actually sure on the size. Oh, they're 24 inches. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You know what? I think this might be an eBay job. Settle the pair on eBay. Uh, once I've got some ink, of course, for the printer, because I'll have to wrap those and send them via a courier. That is a bloody arse at the moment. I've got no ink. You know what? I've got the bloody money sitting in my PayPal. Shall I put it to good use? I've already bought some more bike lights on eBay. <laughs> Flashing blue ones, actually. Allegedly. We'll find out when they arrive. Go to my eBay. I'm just going to turn the fan away from me. I've got a bit hot doing that bike, so uh, I'll turn the fan on. Where is it? If I go past it. Now, yeah, I bought a couple of those. Exactly like the ones I've already got, but blue. And it's not just the silicon that's blue. According to the description, the LED is blue. But they're on offer just for today. Which is why I grabbed them. Otherwise, they're two ninety nine any other time. But they go off offer uh, in a couple of hours, actually. Two hours and 29 minutes, the offer ends. So I grabbed a couple of pairs. You never know. My fucking ink gone. It was here earlier, I saw it. Where is it? Where the... It's disappeared. Either that or I'm going blind, because I can't find it. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Want some electronics kits? Oh, there it is. Just make sure I've got the model number correct. It should tell me straight on the front somewhere. It did. <laughs> I'm cleaning that crap off that. Nope. <laughs> Not anymore. Um. Well, I know I watched them. I know they're repro ink cartridges, you know, I know they're not the um, exact ones, but free P everyone's offering free P and P now. Thirteen quid for a pair. Over four hundred sold. Uh, I'm actually just trying to remember where I put the books for that, because I kept the books for the M printer. Because um, that'll tell me the exact model number on there. Actually, in fact, I've still got the fucking box over here. <laughs> well, it's too dark under there for me to see. X four five something something. <laughs> ah, torch. X 
four five eight zero. I thought that's what I said. I thought I'd check it. So is my model number in there? X four five eight zero. So I'm gonna click buy now. I'm just gonna take a risk. Here we go. One pair, please. And the only reason I'm spending this is because, like I said, you've got to print um, postage labels off for carriers because they won't take the parcel unless there's a barcode on it. So that sort of limits what I can sell. Because um, obviously, with no printer and no way to print the postage labels for the carriers, I've got no methods of posting things like wheels and whatnot. Um, but uh, as soon as I get this ink through and I get the printer up and running, uh, I'll be able to do that. And I think by the time I've sold those electric bike wheels, I'd have probably made the money back that I'd spent on the ink anyway. Easy. So there's two parcels, or two items I've bought. If I don't get it now, I'll just forget and I'll keep putting it off and putting it off and then I'll be moaning because I've got things to sell that I can't sell because I can't post them, blah de blah blah so... <sighs> At least this way it's done, it's dusted. In theory, I've just got to slap them in the printer when I point the camera in the right direction. <laughs> and uh, the job will be good. But uh, that does mean I could also post or sell frames and other large objects that would have to go um, via a carrier. So... Actually, you know what? When I get some money together, I'm going to go and get the um, dropout I need, or the hanger for my um, Carrera hybrid bike and get that one done. I've got a nice Trek frame through there. I could just strip the rest of the crap off and sell it as a project frame because I've done that on eBay. You know, I can get, depending on the frame, I can get five to ten pound a frame. Sometimes more. It just depends on what frame you've got. Um, Anyway, I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go to Mum's or if I'm staying at home. If I'm staying at home, I'm going to bring all the parts of the Triumph upstairs and uh, clean them all down. Uh, so I can get them on eBay. I don't think I'll get a lot for them, but I might get a few quid. I'll get a few quid for the uh, calipers and a couple of quid for the brake levers if I can clean them up well enough. And I've got these bloody rear hubs over here and I've got front hubs as well actually. Because there's the original front wheel I can cut the front hub out of. Uh, I've got a front wheel over there at the Hercules I can cut the front hub out of. Because uh, I'll break the Herc as well. That's not worth keeping. Not now I've got this one. Which I have to say, it actually looks nice with those nice black tyres on them. <laughs> Pump the tyres up and see if these um, lights will work from the dynamo. If they don't, then I'll know it's the dynamo, because be, I know when I stick a battery on, both lights light up. So if they don't work, then it'll be the dynamo. Knackered. Which isn't a problem, because there's plenty in my box under the bed, so... Oh yeah, they're not in that box, they're in another tub. But they're in, they're in something under the bed. I know that much. Uh. <laughs> hey. Um, I need to get some money together to get that member there, there, there. I'll try again to get that memory from a brother's PC um, which will go towards paying for the PS3 
But may I, I'm going to leave that till uh, next month anyway, when he's ready to sell it. I suppose it could act as a deposit. But then again, he hasn't got his own computer table done yet anyway. He was painting his bedroom today, apparently. So mum was telling me. Uh, lots of electronic kits and things I'm watching. I was going to delete the um, ink cartridges out of my watching, but I might as well leave them there, because if they do work in this printer, then I'm going to need replacements at some point, aren't I? So, and yes, I do have my shirt off, because... I don't know what it is, you know, it's supposed to be autumn and I was really sweating my titties off today. I was sweating my titties off just putting the back wheel in this. <laughs> I'm going to change the bell on it because that is crap. Um, that might give me a chance just to rub that end of the handlebar down a little bit. But that's, apart from the chrome wheels, that, that side of the handlebar is uh, the only place where it rusted, really. I mean, I can soon whip the brake calipers off and give those a clean up. Which, uh... I'm going to change the front brake cable. I might do that anyway. It's only a matter of undoing a 10mm bolt. Well, it's usually a 10mm nut on that. Yeah, nut, not bolt. Hmm. Who do you... Uh... I can't see anything in my watch list that I need. So, it's sort of like one tree and one item I need. So, and the item I need actually costs more than the item I treated myself with. So, shall I get some blue police tape? <laughs> Go wrap it round Mum's car when she's not looking. <laughs> it's actually one ninety nine for a roll, but don't know. There has been moments where I could have done with the red and yellow warning tape, but. 25 meter roll, red white. Not bad for a 25 meter roll, £2.50. And um, I noticed a lot of people doing this click and collect to Argos now on um, eBay. Um, but I noticed you get, an, or at least the seller I bought the um, bicycle lights from gives you the option you can choose click or collect to Argos or just standard postage. Um, I clicked standard postage, yes it did, no it was actually free, second class. Um, it might take a bit longer but it's easier because I can't get to Argos very easily. So, yeah. <laughs> Because it would actually cost me the train fare to get there, so it could actually work out more expensive than actually posting it. So I'm glad they have that option. Oh, go it. Oh. I'm actually debating taking a walk down to the chip shop and get a portion of the chips for dinner. I better have a count up with my change first. See what shrapnel I've got in my pocket. Get off, you stupid thing. Okay. Better wash my hands first as well. Look at that. Yeah. <sighs> That's horrible smelling dirt. That's 
smells um, like you've walked into a home that hasn't been lived in for years. That damp, foisty sort of smell, that's what it smells like. Yes, yeah, so I've actually got a much newer wheel in this bike now. But it's still in the 80s, so I can't complain too much, can I? It's an 87. It would have been cool if it was closer to 1982, but never mind. That's close enough for me. And the wheel's not buckled, and it goes round and round when you pedal, so... There we go. Oh, well, the dynamo lights aren't going to work, because I haven't got the wire on the dynamo. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've got a pump up here either. Um, and if I have, I don't know if it's going to have the correct adapter here. Here's all the Christmas decks I rescued. Well, it's only tinsel and um, get caught. And some of these sort of things that you hang from the ceiling. I can't remember the name at the moment. But they're in good condition, they're not torn or split, and some of them, in that there, some of the trimmings are uh, still in sealed packets. Oh, well, I had to rescue the Dalek, because uh, it's broken, but um, it does run on a battery, so I was actually going to take him apart and exterminate him. Mm. Yeah, look at this look. Can't beat something brand new that's free, can you? <laughs> that's more to add to my collection. I swear I get crazier with my Christmas decorations every year. And those cars up there, I am actually very tempted to take down a stick on eBay. I don't know why, I'm just in one of those moods at the moment. Why I just want to have a pair. Oh, fuck. Pardon my French, but I was just looking at my sample pot up there and I can't remember off the top of my head when my appointment is. No, that one's for the flu. Oh, well, it's a good thing I checked, really, isn't it? Because it's tomorrow at 10.45. <laughs> that really is good that I checked that. Because I knew it was this week, I just couldn't remember what day. Well, there we go. I've got to go see the nurse at the, sur at the doctor's surgery. Tomorrow. Yep, bloods have already been done. I'm going to keep that right in front of me on here. So I know where the damn thing is. Because if not... I'm going to forget. Right. Still got to go have a shower, but I think I'll grab some tea first. I'll only get a portion of chips because I've got such a rolls and scotch eggs and I've even got some cold meat in there so I'm sure I can whack something together I just can't be bothered to cook any chips up so I'm going to shut the video down here thanks for watching like the video if you like the video of course and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.